Hello, it's Jake again, and I'm playing some more Zoo Tycoon. And, uh, as you can see, I, I haven't done anything else. And, uh, I just realized that's a lot of dirt. But anyway, so, uh, I added another download, or not a, it's another hack, it's under the hacked, uh, categories, and, uh, I will be having a link for it, it found it on the Nexus. Uh, it has done several things to my game, one of them being that uh, it added a file that made my game think that I had uh, the complete collection, which I, I I don't. I just have all the the uh, I have all the expansion packs and all their discs, but in do but I don't have Extinct Animals installed. So what happened was is that it has created little files for uh, the Extinct Animals <laughs> that uh don't work. Um, as you can see, they're invisible, and when I place them, they will crash my game. Uh, Alpine Tundra? Don't know what that is. Well, I know what the Alpine Tundra is. I don't know what... It doesn't tell me what these are. Um, I think I found the Dodo Bird, because I think that was, like, the only one that was, like, 3,000 or something. Nah, it can't be this one, because they were tropical rainforest. Unless they changed it. The dodo bird was the only retextured uh, extinct animals one, which is why I didn't install it or didn't bother finding it. So, anyway, today I'm going to be continuing on here. Uh, I decided it might be a cool thing to have, like, a, like a multi-layered, um, like, wetlands place using this, uh, using this elevated path scheme that I got going on here. So, um... Anyway, anyway, the hack that I was talking about before I got completely sidetracked, um, <laughs> the hack that I was talking about that did all this to my game uh, now allows me to uh, cram cram these guys into a space without them really caring about the size of the enclosure. So uh, there can be a lot more alligators here. Uh, not alligators, crocodiles now. So I, I'll give you an example here by placing another male female. Normally this would be way too much, but now uh, they're still, their biome is still satisfied. Their space is still good. The privacy, however, is not as satisfied, but I mean, I can't really do much about that considering all the shit that I have going on here. People can look at them for all angles and I kind of like it like that. And, I don't really think they need their privacy, so... Anyway, one of the main reasons why I did that is not only for more animals in each exhibit, is that there's these little guy, there's these really small animals somewhere, like the fennec fox is a really small animal, but it requires a lot of space for what it is, and I thought it'd be nice just to have small little enclosures with these guys in them, uh, like these guys as well. Komodo dragons are rather big, I think they're about the size of a... Yeah, they're about the size of a crocodile. Right, is he angry? No, he's loving his privacy. Anyway. Uh, I'm trying to look for him here. Nile monitors? These guys are teeny. Uh, I mean... I guess they're... Uh, relative to a person, they're pretty small. And they, they would need, like, a... They would need, like, a uh, habitat, like, maybe... If I put a fence like along this grid, they need that big of a enclosure, and I don't like that. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get the elevated path tool out, and instead of making a circle, let's try to make it a little bit more dynamic, I guess. Now, a car. Oh, wow, they're pregnant. Now they they lay eggs, so it's going to be a really fast. Uh, egg lay, I guess, and then... Yeah. <laughs> I don't really know what else to say about that. But, um... Yeah, it... They lay eggs instead of, um... Live birth is what it's called, yeah. Which is... Pretty cool, I guess. <laughs> yeah. <sighs> All 
All right, now let's get back to fixing the inside of this. It's maybe I want it to be rise. Maybe I want it risen up a little bit. Maybe that's uh, a good idea. This is risen up. I think it'll be fine. It'll be the same. And then we can get some get some driftwood. Yeah, look, it's turned into like a great exhibit, and I was trying to make it shit. Get those near there. Papyrus is what I meant to put there, so I'll just kind of mix it in. Looks nice, yes. Papyrus, it's a fun word to say. I wonder if there's hemp. I wonder if I can get a hemp download. That would be cool. I love hemp. That would be an interesting plant to see in this game. <laughs> What's that? Wow, I just heard that one. I just heard that thing snap. Damn. Okay, so I can't get a big old rock in here, so I think I'm gonna do it at that. I think it looks pretty cool. I don't have any food for him though, so I have to put that in, and then I gotta put the, uh... I don't have to put a, um, a zookeeper in there that will live there forever. I can actually... What I can do is, is I can have, uh, a little one there, a little entrance there. Make... I'll section that off so all their guests can't get in there, but... There we go. Now we have just a bunch of Nile monitors down there. People can look down and see them. Nile oh, crocodile in your... Yeah. That's the nest there. Uh, yeah. Hatch time. Still got a while. Alrighty, then. Nile monitor was attacked and killed. <laughs> Fuck, this happens too. What's it, um... Yeah, that happens sometimes if they get really hungry, because I just realized that I didn't put any food in there for them. <laughs> so let's just... There we go. Just eat off that meat pile. Um, have that one as well. Drink from this water. That's probably going to be placed down anyway by who knows what. Ugh. Oh my god. I can't believe that happened. I mean, I can believe it, because it's happened to me before, but... Damn. Put another female in there. Oh my god. <laughs> I feel like they're a really pretty bad zookeeper right now. I, I literally just allowed someone to die, one of them to die and get eaten because I foolishly didn't put any food in there. Thingamajig. Anyway. Huh. I have a really good idea. But it involves destroying a lot of what I already have. So. Gotta get it. Why is. Why are these. I want things to work. God damn it. There we go. I just, it's just the angle, is what it was. Alright. I can't wait to actually build the exhibit. I've been planning. I've been, I'm so excited to build the, uh, the, um, the what's my, uh, what exhibit, what is it called, uh, ah, zoo has become more famous. Anything? No. Okay, it looks a little bit. So, now, let's see if I can actually pull this off. So... Let's get to the, uh, greater flamingo. They like shrimp, don't they? Yeah, shrimp. I remember looking at those, wondering if those were, not knowing. They can have smaller fences, so... Are these fences good? How they look? I like them. Oh, and one of the Nile monitors is now pregnant. Cool. Oh, they're all excited for it. Oh my god, look at that! They're loving this little exhibit I got going on here. That's awesome. <laughs> all these things that I thought would never work in this game, they, they, they work pretty well. Let's 
Let's get rid of that so I can have a proper curve there. Keeper fur cannot reach small poop. That's going to happen a lot. I, I, I know this because uh, <laughs> from experience seeing this, um, this whole how it works is that the uh, I think even even with like completely, uh, it's just gonna happen. The whole this is gonna be popping up a lot, just because the, the game doesn't have anything better to do. To be honest. All right. Okay. Guess love my zoo. They fucking better. So let's get this all. Oh, it's not going to want to do that, is it? So this looks like something I would normally build, <laughs> to be honest. Like a little enclosure and then put this around it. But I have good reason for it this time. Because it's going to be a sick entrance. I'm going to get underneath there, so I can... I wish the... I wish that wasn't so buggy though, the uh, the ripples. Awesome. I wonder if I can have fountains. I totally can. I know that they exist. I don't know how well it will work, but we'll see. Um, I'll look into it. Gotta have those cypress trees that can be placed in water, except this one, because it doesn't look like it can. I want the ones with the roots, because those are cooler in the water than the other ones. Getting really annoyed for no reason. Okay, let's get these ones up there. I know flamingos can fly, so... There's no aviaries. There are mods for them, but... That was always something that, that they were missing, though. They, they, they always needed aviaries in this game, but no, but they never put them in. That's also going to happen, just when you get more animals and staff is being stupid. Maybe if... I, I know there's a way to allocate their, like, spaces and stuff, but I'm not 100% sure on how to do it. This is okay. Let's put this uh, food trough here. Food trough uh, there. So they have food. They do like balls. So do I. No further questions. Right, cool. So now let's just start sticking them in there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And let's have eight males. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There we go. That's cool. Awesome. Let's get those, uh, let's get a, um, fence door here somewhere. There we go. Have a zookeeper hang around. Let's see what I can do with these. Uh, add new assignments. Why did I do this? <laughs> I remember it not working. <laughs> anyway. Alright, so let's take a look at how this works. How this looks. Uh, pretty cool, actually. Um, no way would they ever allow this because those things are probably vicious am animals, but, you know. I mean, it's pretty cool. I make those weird noises. I think it's a pretty nice entrance, and I can put, like, a statue here now. Which is, like, cool. Awesome. Good. We're gonna need we're gonna need like an another like entrance just for that one. I really that's that's what we're gonna need. There we go. Just for the just for that guy who can't reach him. Where are my zookeepers? I have enough. They should be able to do it. Yeah, anyway, under it so I can on. place it. Yeah, there we go. 
inside the water? Wow. Oh look, they're trying to dig out. They can't do that though, they can just fly. Wow, these guys are annoying. Oh my god. Can I not read? What the hell are those things? Oh my god, they're baby crocodiles. Holy shit, those things are scary looking. Look at their cool AF though. No, Crocodile 12 is really freaking hungry. Go eat something then, buddy. I'd say AF right here. It's kind of gay. Ugh, oh, it's good. Some of those. Let's, let's, just, let's just sprawl meat everywhere and see. There we go. Just get that meat, quick. Oh my god, there's so many of them. They're, they're, all of them are shitting. Oh, uh, oh no, I almost hit the ball over the fence. I'm just gonna fucking throw guys in there to deal with it. That's gonna bother me. I'm probably gonna have to remove something or do something out of hack to get rid of that, but it's gonna bother me. Wow, oh, they run too. Look, they can reach them. Look, see, they can fly. Look at them. They can leave at any time. There are so many foods that you can be having right now. You're gonna drink though? <laughs> Look at the drink. There's so many crocodiles in here now. <laughs> oh my god, did they all die now? I was like, I know all of them are hungry. They have. They. All of them seem pretty okay with their privacy, though. I mean, nothing's critical, but, like, if things get pretty bad, I'll just send- I'll just I'll get them adopted and stuff. Is this guy not- this guy's still- no, get out of here. Uh, you know, you're, you're done. No one needs you. <laughs> it was nothing but an issue, anyway. Look at these guys, they're so cute. Nile monitor is now pregnant. Damn, we're gonna have so many Nile monitors. <laughs> it's gonna be disgusting. Oh my god, what can I do now? Now Crocodile Seven's really hungry. It's not really my problem because there's food everywhere. But I'm gonna send you out because you're being annoying. Ugh. All right. So. That's about all I can do for scenery right now. I spent way too much time dealing with the notifications up here. Which is probably going to be happening a lot of episodes because I can't stand them. But thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I'll see you all in the next video. Next time I'll be building that uh, hippopotamus uh, exhibit as well as other wetland exhibits. Uh, I'll probably... I, sp I spent too much time on the... Um, I spent way too much time on the uh, entrance instead of other things, so next time I'll be making the American Beaver. I'm going to do all of them next episode, don't you worry.